Hey everyone, I hope you're all doing well. Today's video is going to be about certifications once again. And if you follow me on Twitter, you probably already know this, but yesterday I passed my eLearn Security EJPT exam. And this was my second certification this month. So I decided to make a quick video about the question that I've been getting the most, which is, do you really need certifications to get into cybersecurity? Well, my honest answer to that question is, it depends. Thank you all so much for watching, I'll see you in the next one. Bye! No, but in all seriousness, this is not a yes or no question. It really depends on your personal background and goals. Talking about my personal experience, when I started working in cybersecurity, the only certification I had wasn't even that relevant for the job. It was a security fundamental certification that already got retired by Microsoft. However, there were many different factors that helped me getting my first opportunity in cybersecurity. I was already working in IT, for example, I was doing quality assurance automation. I was also doing lots of networking and I had just started my master's degree in information security. So there is a lot to take into account when it comes to the factors that will help you to get your first opportunity in cybersecurity. Now, if I didn't use certifications to pass through the gatekeepers, what is the purpose on getting these certifications now? I said this on my first video, learning is really like an addiction for me. I really enjoy the process of learning new things every day. And that was probably the main reason why I fell in love with cybersecurity in the first place. So certifications are a way for me to go through my continuous learning journey. Now you don't need certifications to keep learning, that's for sure. But for some reason, I really love the pressure and the excitement that comes with having to be prepared for an actual exam. This is something that people will always ask. Which certification should I pick? And that is impossible to answer in a short video like this one, because there's just too many factors to think about when deciding which certification would be the best for your personal career. Now, one thing that I do to help me with that is by answering questions like, what do I want to accomplish with this certification? Will this certification help me become a better professional? Where do I see myself after getting this certification? And will this certification help me get there? Or am I just doing it just to put it on my resume? And after responding to those questions, I always do a lot of research on the ones that I'm considering at the moment. And then I just decide which one is worth going for. There is always some downside to everything, and here there's no exception for that. Certifications surely come with a cost, and some of them can be very expensive, both time and money-wise, so you have to be very smart when choosing which certifications you're going to aim for. So keep in mind that if you want to be a certification warrior with all the badges and certificates in the world, your free time and wallet will suffer substantially, unless your employer is paying for all your certifications and actually giving you time to study for them. Absolutely, if you have the time and the money to invest, just take the time to do your research or even try to reach out for people who already have those certifications and then when you're ready, just go for it. Me personally, I really love the process of studying and getting prepared for the exams because you really learn a lot through that process. And you also end up meeting a lot of people in the community that are also studying for those certifications. And that is awesome because by growing your network, you will also learn new things about your industry, new job opportunities, new trends, and even spark new ideas for your own journey. And that's it for today's video, I hope you liked it. If you did, please press the like button and if you didn't, press the dislike button twice so I know you didn't like the video that much. Now, if you're studying for a certification and it doesn't matter if it is cybersecurity related or not, please leave it in the comment section and let's start a discussion and learn from each other. I want to thank you guys so much for watching these videos, I'm having a blast doing them, so thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.